Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Get Play Soul. In this video, we are going to discuss types of operating system. This is the second video in the series of operating system. So please stay tuned till the end and please also support our channel and this playlist. Let's get started. The first operating system we are going to discuss is batch operating system. In this type of OS, the jobs are grouped together and processed in batches. Each job generally consists of a set of instructions and data. This operating system loads the jobs and group them into batches. So whenever there are similar jobs available, all these similar jobs will go into one batch. Other similar jobs will go into the other batch. After that, the operating system manages their execution by loading each batch onto the CPU for processing. Once the batch is completed, the next batch is automatically initiated. In this batch operating system, there is no direct communication between user and computer. So this type of operating system is effective for repetitive and similar tasks. Why? Because all the similar similar jobs were grouping and sending into one batch. For example, payroll systems, bank statements, etc. Moving ahead, we have time sharing operating system. A time sharing operating system allows multiple users to share a single computer simultaneously. So in this picture, you can see there is one CPU. That is one computer we have and there are three users. Simultaneously, all the users can use this computer. So the every single user or every single job is allocated a fair share of CPU time. For example, consider a time sharing system with multiple users like as shown in the figure user A, user B and user C. User A is editing document. User B is running some software update. User C is browsing internet. So the CPU here allocates small time slices to each task. So for example, if user A get 10 seconds, 10 milliseconds, user B gets also 10 milliseconds and for user C also 10 milliseconds. If a task needs to wait, for example, user A wants to save the file and it has to wait. It goes to the waiting state and the CPU serves other tasks like B and C. So once the input is available, again it comes back to user A. By this you might have understood there are states in this time sharing operating system. Ready state, active state, waiting state. Ready state is a state where users are waiting to execute. Active state is a state where the CPU executes the task. Waiting state is the state where the task might require some more time and meanwhile the CPU is allocated to the other users. One thing I would like to point out is the time sharing operating system is for single users with multiple tasks like software update, opening word, closing something etc. Also, we have multiple concurrent users like user A, user B and user C. So it is for single users and multiple users also. Moving ahead, we have distributed operating system. Distributed operating system is an OS that runs on network of interconnected computers. So you can see there are multiple computers, there are five computers, but they are connected to one single operating system. Each node or system have their own CPU, RAM, disk, etc. But they have same operating system and distributed operating system is tightly coupled which means changes to one thing even a small change in one part one component require corresponding changes to other components so distributed operating system is tightly coupled moving ahead we have network operating system this might look similar to distributed operating system but no network operating system connects multiple computers and device over local area network. It allows sharing of files, resources by connection, communication over a network. In distributed operating system, you can see there is only one OS and all the computers share the same OS. In the network operating system, every system can have its own OS and network operating system is loosely coupled, which means all the systems are independent in nature. Changes to one component or one part does not require changes in other components. Moving ahead, we have real-time operating system. Real-time operating systems are the systems with deadlines. So this RTOS is designed for application that require immediate response. So for emergency situations, for example, RTOS is used in vehicles in emergency situations like controlling the engine, airbag deployment, etc. So RTOS prioritize tasks based on importance and time sensitivity. Real-time operating systems are very important and widely used in almost all the domains, all the fields like robotics, industrial control systems, etc. And we have three types of real-time operating systems. The first one is hard real-time systems. In hard real-time systems, if deadline is not met, then there will be a system failure 
and if there is a system failure there is a lot of consequence for example airbag deployment in a car it must deploy with very specific time frame to save lives so if the deadline is not met then there will be a huge consequence moving ahead we have soft real time system soft real time systems if the deadline is missed then the system does not fail only the performance degrades for example the video streaming services like netflix etc buffering and small delays are tolerated there will not be a heavy damage or consequence moving ahead we have firm real time system the firm real time system is between hard real time and soft real time system if the deadline is missed occasionally system does not fail results after the deadlines are rejected sometimes missing deadlines can be tolerated sometimes missing deadlines cannot be tolerated for example stock trading platforms fast execution of trades is crucial but occasional delays may not result in losses though they can affect profitability so that's it from my side thank you so much for watching till the end please like share and subscribe to our channel get paid soon